Southern Norway is an area of uncompromised natural beauty, scenic landmarks and the location of a path rich in local history. In the last half of the 19th century, there was considerable poverty in the rural western Agda region. To survive, many families chose to send their children to the more prosperous farms in the east to work as shepherds and farmhands. The children set out east in springtime and returned home in autumn with hard-earned income for the family. These young ones, aged 7 to 16, wandered in groups to their destinations and back, walking along what became known as the Child Wanderer Path. The path is today 136 kilometers long and divided into seven sections, each suitable for a day's walk. It crosses nine municipalities and two counties as it wends its way through the scenic landscape of the Agda region. It is a wonderful setting for both visitors and locals to experience the region's lakes, forests and hills. The path begins in the west, in the municipality of Kvinestal. The first section of the route is a relatively easy walk, following blue way marks across open terrain by bogs, corpses and beautiful mountain lakes. A recently built traditional style heather barn provides a great rest stop along the way. The path climbs to over 500 meters altitude and passes several sites of historic interest marked with stone cairns. At the priest, walkers can sign a register and admire the view before descending to the river Lingna and the Snartemo Bota Park. This rest area is marked by a great sword sculpture and has a shelter, toilets, drinking water and picnic tables. The second section begins with a steep climb out of Snartemo and then becomes a comfortable woodland walk past many historic landmarks. At Midland, we continue through a cattle and deer farm before following forest paths and gravel roads to the impressive Lake Hellopanne. This picturesque body of water is a wonderful spot for a well-deserved break. The path descends on an old district road through woodland to reach the Odna River and the town of Konsmo. At the town's rural museum, you'll find an exhibition that shares some of the history and stories of the child wanderers. Konsmo Church marks the beginning of the third section, which climbs steeply out of the valley on the original child wanderer path. The rough fine views while you ascend, and soon the terrain levels out before crossing the railway and continuing through a beautiful rolling pastoral landscape into the Manadal municipality. We follow a road past Lodal Church, reaching the Salmon Center and the power station in Manadal. The next section follows the river past Mjolan. We walk tracks and the old town road past Höje and a scenic lake nearby, continuing through thick woodland before descending to the road between the lakes Birkelandsvatten and Tronstavatten. This winding paved road takes us to Grapestad Church in the Songdal municipality. We start the fifth section, passing through the quaint town of Nordland. The trail climbs into hilly terrain, becoming quite steep until it connects with the old post road. A resting place beside the road offers us an excuse to take a break and relax a while before carrying on to scenic Lake Kvislevan, a good place for swimming. Cycling is popular here as this section of trail shares paths with the long distance North Sea cycle route. We continue into Agda's largest city, Kristiansand, the flourishing city of Norway. The sixth section leaves city streets behind at the university, enters the solitude of the woods and then the Guvan Nature Preserve, a sanctuary for majestic oak trees. We continue on past Orlefjär and the fjords before following the west coast highway up into the hills. This old main route connecting eastern and western Norway is a pleasant walk and we follow it, crossing the Torvdal River by suspension bridge and passing through the Birkenes municipality to reach Tveide. 
Our route continues through Birkenes Rural Museum with its nine historic buildings and then on to Valstan School. The last section of the path continues through the outskirts of Birkeland and into the forest again. We pass Rieswanne and follow an ancient road across hilly and wooden terrain to the Kotos farm Stien. Shortly after entering the municipality of Grimsta, the path passes Lindevanstemmen, a dam to collect water for floating logs down the river. The path heads on through Redal, one of the best agricultural areas in Norway. We continue on the old main road to reach Lundvik Church and the eastern terminus of the Child Wanderer Path. Why not visit beautiful southern Norway to follow this remarkable footpath, taking you on a wonderful journey through the scenic landscapes and friendly villages, and giving you an appreciation for the local heritage and story of the wandering children who walked so their families could survive. For more information about the Child Wanderer Path, please visit www.barnavandring.no. This project was funded by Vestardo County Council, Odendal Municipality and the Interreg Project Coast Alive. Produced by Flagler Films.